Hey guys, what's up? So today I'm going to take a look at another Lego 2021 Lego minifigure for you guys. But this time we have here, but this one actually is kind of special because it was sent by my good friend, the Ghost of Lower Master Starscream. So here's the package, what it looks like. I already did a review. I already did like some reviews on this. Now I'm going to um, open it up and take a look which character did I get. Um, if you guys already seen it, go ahead and check it out. So he texted me months ago and he told me he got a duplicate and... When he told me what it is, well, um, this is a this is gonna be good for you guys. So here's the back, what it looks like, and also if you guys are new for this channel, make sure you leave a like, comment, subscribe, so yeah. But anyways, let's take a look at the character, what I got. And I got Gamora from What If. <coughs> Sorry about that. So this is the Lego minifigures. Marvel Studio Mystery Pack. This is set number 71031 right here. So yes, this is, the, this is for the Marvel Studios. And this was representing from the What If. It was, I, it's kind of, she was shown at the final episode of What If, if you guys already seen it. If you haven't, I highly recommend to do, to um watch it. Now, of course, like all the other Lego minifigures comes with a base, but also for the What If series, not the What If, for the Marvel Studio series, it comes with this and this right here. And also comes with this duplicate piece right here. Now, for the feel guy for Gamora, you need to feel is her, her hair piece and the double-sided blade. This version of Gamora right here, if I could remember, she is the Slayer, the Slayer of Thanos, if I'm right, but first thing to do is take a look and over the minifigure. The minifigure of Gamora looks amazingly well. The gold with some black, even the, the lighter shade of gold right here that you can see, if I move, looks amazingly well. A little bit of hints of gold metal gray that you can see. Silver on her face. She does have a double-sided face. Nice pink hair. That she have looks cool. I like what they did the, the printing on her arms. Some back printing right here that you can see. I'm gonna move the head there a little bit. Okay, there you go. So there's she does have a double side face, normal face, and an angry face right here. Pretty good looking that you can see on the back on the back printing right here. I love this version of Gamora right here. But my question is, can we have a a um? A Marvel watching for a figure of, of her. This is her double sided blade right here that you can see, which is pretty cool. Just remember her hair and the boy piece right here. Well, both of them. It doesn't matter which ones, of course. And of course, like I said, like all the others, what if minifigures? You just put this in. This is like a this is like a clear base, like you know, it's like flying around. Grab your character, plug in any accessories that they have. For Gamora, her blade piece right here. The one thing, the one thing I don't like this hair piece that you can't move this piece right here. So yeah, I think I'm gonna have Gamora doing like that. Have her feet out. This piece out. So yeah. I guess this will be like the fun. I think I guess this is gonna be like the thumbnail for this. So a little bit of close up of the minifigure. There you go. Gamora looks great. I highly recommend to have this in your collection. But if you guys have any like other duplicate what if minifigures, uh make sure to leave a comment down below and DM me any social media I have in the description. So yeah. Anyways, have fun, stay safe, and I'm always I'm out.